What is up, my friends? My name is Echo Thrumi, and I'm here today to show you guys how to start a clan war. But before I do, I want to say thank you for taking a moment out of your day and spending it here with me. I always appreciate that. And also, before we start, let's collect some loot. So it was nice to fill everything back up. All right, so when starting a clan war, you need to be either a leader or a co-leader. Members cannot start clan wars. And as you can see, we just had a horrible defeat in our last war. We came off a four-war winning streak, and we put together this god-awful war uh, a few days ago. It's embarrassing. But you hit your Start War button, and you get to this screen here. Again, you start war. Now, as a leader or a co-leader, you are able to opt peep players in or out of war. So, for example... If you look at the bottom, it says I can have either 15 or 20 members. I only have 17 members that are willing to do war right now, so I would need to either opt out two or opt in three. So if I wanted to opt out two, I could do Giant Catfish and myself, and we could start a 15 versus 15 war. So I can override as leader whatever I want to as far as if people are going to be in a war or not. So the third member right here is Spina. He's opted out. If I needed him... I could opt him into war. Now, I would probably never do that unless if I just needed an extra person, even though they wouldn't attack. But, um, you know, just etiquette tells you if someone says that they need to be out for whatever their reason, you should let them be out. Um, so let's let's go to an example. I think I'm only going to start a 10-person war here. Dre, he hasn't been active. I'm going to take him out. I have 16 people ready. Uh, I need to get rid of six more if I want a 10-person war. So, Sancho, he's brand new. He's out. Uh, Jordan, Optimus, Sun Tzu. Sun Tzu's in the hospital right now, so he's going to be out. Sarah, Peter, Scott, and Nova. Well, they haven't attacked yet for, since forever, so they'll be out. And these two will be out also. So we have our 10. Out of our 26 people, I chose the 10 that I wanted in war, and I chose 10 that were going to be active and that said that they were ready for war. I then simply hit the Start War button, and the search begins. Now, it's important that you guys know that I cannot choose who we're warring against. I had some members believe that I was actually choosing my opponent, and they would tell me, why are you choosing such difficult opponents? And I was like, well... I can't believe that you think that I'm actually choosing who our opponents are. That would be incredibly unfair. But whatever it may be, we have no choice. We just choose our members that are warring. The search happens, and then the war will have their 23-hour prep day, and then it will begin. So if I return back home, that's really how it's done. Uh, it's nothing that extreme. It's nothing that confusing. But really, it is important to know that only leaders and co-leaders can do this, and we really have all the control to opt whoever we want in or out of war. Uh, and I guess that's it, my friends. If you have any other questions of how to do something in this game, whether it be something simple, such as starting a clan war like we went over today, or something more difficult, just leave it in the comments below, and I'll be sure to take a look and give an idea and possibly put a video together for that piece of content. So, again, thank you for your time. I appreciate you making it all the way to the end of the video. Before we leave, collect some dark. Until we meet again, my friends, be good.